Family, today I'm going to give you a different take on how you could look at head-turning fragrances. There are two different styles of head-turning fragrances. And there's one fragrance that has shown me how this works. And it's Silver Mountain Water, right? This is Mr. Steal Your Girl. I ain't lying to you. I don't know what this... Females love this scent. And what I noticed is they love it so much, they'll put it on. And it's unisex, marketed unisex. Even though I feel it's very masculine, but women love this and they'll wear it. So this showed me that in the grand scheme of things, there are two styles to head, two head turning fragrances. I believe it's masculine. Women believe it smells so good, they're wearing it. And I have a show for you today, guys. To the right, these are fragrances that a man can wear, but a woman will also wear, and they're head-turning fragrances for women. Women love these scents, but they will put these on as well. And to the left, these are also eight head-turning fragrances, but women won't want to put these on. But these fragrances do make women's heads turn. And I have a bonus here for you guys of two fragrances. One is called Purple Muse. And this is a unisex fragrance that leans feminine. But if you know how to play your cards and when to wear this, this will work in your favor, guys. And then this is something that I had to learn on my journey where it was a mistake that I bought this. I thought it was unisex, it's feminine. When I put it on my girl, it doesn't smell bad, but it smells better on me. So this is the bonus that I'm going to speak about. This is very interesting. But I really want to get to the two different styles of fragrances that are head-turning fragrances, guys. If your girl lives with you, just know she's going to, she's going to definitely use these eight out of your stash. If you have any one of these, she's going to use it. And I will give you a... A little little heads up right here. For how good this smells on me, it smells better on my girl. And then these eight over here are very masculine, very head-turning fragrances, but women won't want to put these on. So if you have these in your stash, guys, she's not going to want to take this from you and spray it on herself. She may take a spray or two just to, to smell you, but she won't use it as an actual perfume. But these eight, she will use. Now let's go over the perfumes. I won't be going into notes or any details of how long they last. I, all I'm going to say is all of these last long. They all perform, project. They all do what they have to do, guys. You know? I would say the least performing one here is Silver Mountain Water. But to me, I love this one. Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's what it should say in the front. Mr. Steal Your Girl. But let's get into the eight to the left of me. These are the masculine fragrances that your girl will love on you, but she wouldn't want to wear them. The first one, Amouage Reflection Man. The next one, Naxxas. If you don't got this, guys, all you need is one of these in your stash, guys, and you're good. Trust me. Creation E. Whew. This is so unique, guys. It's like a soda pop fizz. Um, just a cognac to it. It's just a, it's like a, it's like a Pepsi with a cognac, you know, Pepsi ice and cognac. I wouldn't say as, you don't see the ice in it, but it has that effect to it. Um, 40 knots is like in a powdery aquatic set. It has everything in one. First time I wore this major compliments guys. Like they could smell me a mile away. Another one, Royal Oud guys. This is a banger. This is just elegant. <sighs> Sandalwood, priceless. Another one right here that I hardly speak about, but man, am I slacking. Harrod, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, when I smell this, man, I truly melt. I don't know how this isn't in my top ten. You have Layton Exclusive. This is another favorite of mine here, guys. Man, I like this the most out of all the Harrods, but 
man, all the um, perfume and Marleys, but that's a tough call, man, because Harrod is just phenomenal. Grand Soir, it's the it's a simple amber, guys, but simplicity done right. I, I haven't really smelled a better amber. I'm gonna try to buy this one that I think that might that could be better, but I don't know this this simplicity in this Grand Soir. It's in my top five for life. You know, I should have bought a big bottle of this, but when I was trying to buy it, I couldn't find it, so I, I had to get something. You know, but um. When I'm when I finish this, I get a big bottle. Or who who knows? But this is a phenomenal set. Now to the right of me, these are fragrances, guys. That if they're in your stash, not only are you going to use them, but so are your girl. And let me give you the eight that are available to her and you. And even if you want to buy it for both of you, it's another great option. This is the one that I feel that is the most masculine, but. A woman will put this on. Trust me. This is um, Casamarogi Manifesto um, from Zerzhov Urapura. Guys, I'm going to tell everybody this. For every guy who whoever put this on, if you put Urapura on, that means you you can definitely wear like a feminine scent that leans more. You could, you could wear a scent that leans more feminine and pull it off. Because if you can pull this off, you can pull that off. And what I mean by that is this one right here is Muse. You can pull stuff like this off. But let's get back to the topic. Nishane, Ani. Guys, I'm so happy I got a big bottle of this. I'm so happy. And this is something that if, you know, my girl's here, she's going to put on. I love, and then this is another one. Um from BDK, Greedy Chanel. Listen, guys, this smells so good on my girl. I mean, it smells good on me, man, but it smells better on her. I love when she comes and she puts that on. It's so attractive. Another one. Oud for greatness, guys. Man, when you smell this, let me tell you. I know why everybody goes crazy for it. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Another one, guys, that if you have it in your stash, your girl gonna rock this just like you are. Kajal. Lamar from Kajal. It's just so exciting, this fragrance. Um, another one right here is called New York Intense, guys. So this one, oh, man, this is so good, guys. I, this is like one of those fragrances that when I need it, when I need some, when I need everything in one, I'm looking for everything in one. This is it, man. I, I find this to be better than Jubilation. How crazy is that? Um, and Jubilation is a rock star, man. Uh, ooh, set and mood. Guys, if you got this in your stash, just know your girlfriend's gonna rock it. <laughs> this is another one when I, when the dude finished this, you know, I will buy the big bottle. It'll be hard for me to finish it because that's so strong. And, um, you know, when you have a big collection, you wear so much stuff. You have so much stuff, sorry. Now, my bonus in this and so you guys can understand something. Before I get into my bonus, these are the eight. If, if they're in your stash, your girlfriend will put on. And these are the eight that if they're in your stash, your girlfriend won't put it on, guys. So keep that in mind. And what taught me this, this double-edged sword with, you know, head-turning fragrances is that Silver Mountain Water open my eyes to the reactions of females when it's something that it leans, it has a feminine trait to it, but yet it's still masculine and it's appealing to them. And that's what Silver Mountain Water taught me, guys. Mr. Steal Your Girl. Now, for my bonus, it's very interesting, right? Because the one to my left Bouquet Ideal 
from Casa Moroghi. It's a feminine fragrance. And I bought it by mistake. I thought it was unisex. I didn't really wear it much. Um, when my girlfriend comes, she puts it on. But one day I put it on my skin, let her smell it. And we put it on her skin and she was smelling it. And, you know, it actually smelled better on me than it did on her, which is weird. But this is just to let you know, guys, that sometimes there's going to be things that even though I don't I'm not... I'm not a person that's going to tell you to go buy women perfumery, but sometimes there's going to be some of their stuff in the niche world, not the designer world, guys, in the niche world that you can pull off. Not all the time, sometimes. And this is one of those sometimes, this one right here. And now, from Muse, this is new to my collection and I love it, guys. And yes, this leans feminine. But here's what I'm going to say about this. Zerjoff Muse. But this is what I'm going to say about this, guys. That the plum in here is outstanding. And if you're into clubbing and you don't want to smell like every other jerk off in the goddamn club with arrows, 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 and every other arrows on the planet, rock this, guys. Rock this. Long lasting projection does everything, guys. This is a this is a feminine fragrance that still holds its masculinity. And if you put it on and you wear it, it's gonna benefit you. This is an attention seeking cologne, guys. That you can pull off as a man. So just a little heads up on the on you know fragrances that either are unisex and lean feminine or to the left a fragrance that is feminine targeted for women but a man can wear it and it may even smell better on him like in my case it smells better on me than it does on my girlfriend guys i hope you liked today's video remember to the left these are the eight that are head turning fragrances that your girlfriend will not put on if they're in your stash and then these eight if they're in your stash your girlfriend will put them on guys she will wear these so this is good to buy if you always want to smell good for her and you want to share something with her fellas thank you for watching the man cologne channel on 16 head turning fragrances actually 17 but that was the master Super Mountain Water. <laughs> He's like the last dragon. Family, praise to the Most High. One love. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Man Cologne channel. Hope you liked today's video with the bonus. And we out, family. Peace.